Thank you for giving us such a great song, Janet Jackson. Wow, when it came to the chorus, I actually felt it was like Michael Jackson, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. It turned, to, turned out to be like a Michael Jackson song. 
and it came to that let's wait a while wow there's so many similarities between brother and sister mom and their music beautiful beautifully done absolutely beautiful let's wait a while yeah in so many relationships it's all about that you know waiting a little while little while we should not be in haste you know many of us when we have that romantic date we are so much in love we have such a good time together we think of you know um, taking it one step ahead without actually thinking you know we need to put in some thought you know it could be making love for the first time it could be having kids it could be uh, saying we'll settle down together it could be saying we'll uh, run away and make our own life different thoughts come you know when you're on that so much in love with each other and totally involved with each other in that moment you make rash decisions so janet jackson has given us some very wise advice like an elderly wise woman she's given us this wonderful advice let's get to know each other some more let's wait a while before we take that step i know things are going good and you know we want to maybe we should go ahead but to have a love that is great to have a great relationship in the future let's wait a while you know when it comes to uh, uh, i am kind of a shopaholic when it comes to couple of things you know things that i love uh, people don't believe i love it because it's not shown yet but uh, to them but for me i love certain things you know i love art um, uh, paintings to be more precise watercolor acrylic i love incense um, but Uh, due to certain reasons at home i am not allowed to pursue these passions freely but i'm kind of an impulse buyer you know so i still keep buying i buy 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 i see something good a good deal i see something i really like a product which i feel may help me i'm reading some tips on a blog i'm reading an ebook i'm watching a video i see that this person is doing this or following this and i don't have this so let me buy it from somewhere so i'm that kind of a person i'm an impulse buyer but at the same time i realize that you know whatever i've created good things in my life that i've created whether it comes to my profession whether it comes to my personal life it has always been after careful thought uh, but at the same time that careful thought happened while i was relaxing you know so there there uh, what i'm getting at is that certain times in relationships especially when it comes to a topic such as this an issue such as this can call it an issue today the problems with divorces the problems with breakups because it's a worse than a coronavirus you know the kind of lives that are being destroyed coronavirus may have taken uh, millions of lives for sure and uh, may take even more lives in the future we don't know how it is going to end but love takes has taken oh, billions of lives in history wars have been fought for it families have been separated because of it kids lives have been ruined because of it so love can is really a thing you must be careful about whenever it comes to love i know in that moment it's very difficult i myself in when i look back at my relationships uh whatever really not just uh, boyfriend girlfriend or husband wife but even friends even family and i look back a lot of decisions were taken in haste rashly or it just came up we just started having an argument and it started with arguing about one thing about a dish maybe a do and it ended up being an argument or a fight about something related to both of you very personal so that is how it goes and i'm sure i'm not the only one i've been through enough experiences to know it happens with the whole world the same way that you start a argument about something and then it ends up into being something totally different by the end of it and much worse you know if you were complaining about uh, the food item or something or something or the some particular thing at home little thing and it ended up becoming straight uh, attack on you or a relationship which ends a relationship or makes a relationship go sour for a while what's the point of it but it happens that way one thing leads to another so here janet jackson is giving simple advice wait let's wait a while it could mean different things to different people what yeah. she is trying to say it may mean different what i'm saying it might be different to how you interpret it what i'm saying and what she is saying might be different but the fact is that yes this is a global epidemic breakups divorces and uh, there is not much help because 
everyone almost profits by you breaking up and me breaking up. So a lot of profit to be made. On this channel also, from the beginning, for some reason, the Americans and the English, they wanted Kirti and me to be separated. Mm -hmm. So they always wanted Kirti to make videos alone. Sometimes a couple of people wanted me to make videos, uh, you know, uh, different kinds of videos, but not these videos. So you, you, you have all kinds of people over here. So on this platform. And that's how the world is, you know. So people profit from you separating. And that's sad. You know, the American government, for example, the UK government, there's profit from you getting divorced. And it's as simple as that. It's been proven by quite a few documentaries and movies that the American government directly profits if you break up or have a divorce. So it's sad. So let's wait a while. Wait a while. Because even when it comes to breakups, wait a while. Don't a while. do it rashly. If you think, oh, it's I wanted to end, uh, go home, rest on it, or take a break, rest on it over a holiday or weekend break, and then make a decision. Yeah, because as I said, coming back to what I was talking about, which I didn't complete sadly, is that some of your best decisions come when you're on a break or when you're relaxing. So to take that break, chill out, wait a while, then make a decision to take it further, to do this, to do that, whatever. And it it's not just for love for business, it's for work, it's for many other things in your life. You can use the same strategy. So it's a beautiful advice by Janet Jackson. Definitely remember this one for a long time. Yeah, how beautifully summed up by you. Uh, you almost touched every uh, aspect of the song, I would say, uh, the way you covered it. Um, I like the way this was done though. Uh, the, there was a sound of xylophone or something like this, similar to that, maybe done on the keyboard. Uh, but it sounded very apt with the song, with the tone, with her voice and everything. Uh, it made it sound very mellow, very um, easy to listen to. It was very easy listening. When the song was going on, there was no difficulty. But you know, the words are quite wise. Uh, like Savio said, wait a while, wait a while. Uh, data and data and data and the graph going higher, higher and higher almost every single year. Uh, in uh, several Western countries where divorce rates are getting higher uh, per year. And uh, I don't see anything being done about those alarming rates of divorces. Um, I'm not making it up. You can check it up on your own. Uh, sometimes, you I know, think what everyone happens, knows. No, sometimes it's people true. don't know because people live in their own bubble. They are, they are, they are you know, people are very busy. And uh, they are busy because they are being kept busy. So there is so there, there is so much uh, going on on social media. You uh, start liking or watching certain kind of content. You are completely kept away from the rest of the content. So in today's time, it is even easier to uh, you know uh, easier to keep people away from certain information than it was in the past. Although we have all the devices and all the information sources and everything, but we think we are aware of things, but we aren't actually aware of things because uh, you might be fed or your algorithm, the preferences are only set for a certain thing. So you don't really get a 360 degree uh, perspective or ideas about everything that is going on in the world. So a person living in France may not know or a person living in Belgium may not know every single person or a layman that their, ra their divorce rates are more than 50% already this year. They don't know that. And they have to really be told and reminded. You have to go and check for yourself to know that this is happening in your country. The best of the uh, honeymoon destinations are facing the worst kinds of divorces yeah, in today's that's time. True. And that's as per my study. I'm not just making it up. I'm not just trying to, uh, you know, uh, raise eyebrows by saying certain things. You, you can do your own research and you will know. So where people Being go involved, for a honeymoon, they actually have the maximum divorces in their country. Those other countries, yeah. So those people who live there haven't benefited from living in such a beautiful their place. Their relationships have, have not benefited at it's all. Such a heavenly place, but yet they break up more than anyone else. There are things that are going wrong. So sometimes you realize that even uh, Mother Nature can't help you much at such times. Uh, you know, it can be one of the factors for a good life, yeah. but not entirely it's not the everything. factor, right? Uh, so uh, things need uh, to be reflected upon. Things need a rethinking where things are going and how things are going. As I said, the, the kind of information we are being fed that also sometimes leads us to certain decisions. You've got to be very careful what kind of information you are being fed every single day. And day after day, people sleep with certain information and then again they wake up with the same kind of follow-up 
information it's they are being trapped literally and you know we think that we are consciously making certain decisions or we are consciously watching certain things we are doing things being very informed about it uh, but it does not really happen sometimes when you just wait a little longer you just get your idea well said well said we are being misled we are being manipulated and yet we don't do much about it and it definitely affects other areas of our life at the end of the day all areas of your life all areas it. especially love relationships with other people that's it for this one check out our patreon page to make a request or two the link is in the description box of this video below